Yes, I know the title, but at the end of the day, we should be able to respect opinions, even the most ridiculous ones, as long as they are explained properly and give perspective as to why a person would think this way. It's a movie after all, it's not something to get worked up over anyways. Morbius is the worst movie of 2022, I think, at least to critics and MCU fanboys. I could think of other things that are worse, but honestly, is Morbius even as bad as the Rotten Tomato score implies? Before the memes made it so that people can't talk about Morbius seriously without one guy putting in nerd emojis, there are so many people absolutely disappointed in Morbius, calling it the worst movie of 2022. This movie is so hated and considered to be so bad that people are saying other bad movies are better than Morbius, and I gotta ask, is Morbius over hated? Now, I actually saw Morbius, and to be frank, there is a lot to critique about this movie. The editing is rushed, character arcs happen too quickly, the movie doesn't seem to have a definitive ending, and the narrative had so much untapped potential. A movie about a man struggling with the choice of giving in to drinking human blood and hurting people makes for a great premise. But the movie tries too hard not to make Morbius full on morally ambiguous, but rather make him as heroic as possible. And trust me, these are some of the valid critiques people have made. It's not to say that Morbius is some kind of underrated movie or a hidden masterpiece or that the memes are unironic. The whole purpose of the memes is that it takes a bad movie and elevates it to become some kind of cultural phenomenon on the grounds that nobody has seen it, so who can confirm or deny that it's a great movie? Morbius is definitely a generic Hollywood blockbuster that does the bare minimum to get at least some people like me to find enjoyment in it. Because there are definitely at least some people who unironically enjoy Morbius for what it is, and I'm one of those people. For all the problems I've had with Morbius, there is still enough entertainment value and genuinely good moments that were well done, I didn't think it was a complete waste of time. I thought Jared Little and Matt Smith did good jobs with their performances, there's a lot of great action scenes, while the story seems rushed at the beginning and the rest of the movie feels well paced. And you definitely get some sense of what Morbius' character arc is at the very least. There is some tragedy to him. All he wants to do is save people like him, so he'll do everything he can to do so until he realizes he's gone too far. He may do things that aren't exactly legal to achieve his goals, but he's a good person at heart for the most part. He's at odds with his brother-in-arms, Milo, who's been bullied his whole life for being born sick and now has a chance to be superior against the many. Am I looking too deep into this movie to show that the writers did put some effort into this movie? I probably am, but at the end of the day, it's subjective. That's the beauty of having different opinions, really. Some people may genuinely like Morbius because they enjoyed the good things about it rather than let the flaws hinder their experiences. And we live in a very terrible world right now, filled with war and poverty, so any escapism people will go to will usually be enough. In contrast to the critics who studied in film school and know how a film works to pick it apart and show why it fails. It's not because there's any sort of malice in it, the critics aren't here to destroy a movie, they're just doing their jobs in criticizing a movie, seeing what works, and then expressing it to the general audience to determine if they want to watch the movie or not. It's always been that way. But even then, critics are still people and can't always be 100% objective. Humans are flawed and will always have some bias. It's why The Last Jedi can be praised because it was so emotional by critics and Star Wars fans, but then the same Star Wars fans will also know why the movie absolutely fails because they know the world of Star Wars, so they will absolutely destroy this movie. But I'm going off a bit of a tangent here, I've already talked enough about The Last Jedi. I literally just explained why people can actually like Morbius unironically and have valid reasons, while explaining that the critics also have valid reasons because they actually studied for this, unlike general audiences, who usually aren't complete movie nerds. But this doesn't answer my question on why is Morbius so hated by the critics as the absolute worst movie of 2022, especially when I can think of other movies being worse. But now I think I have the answer. Expectations. Uh, no, I'm not saying Morbius subverted expectation. I'm not pulling a Last Jedi here. But I think it may have something to do with Spider-Man No Way Home. Keep in mind, Morbius was supposed to come out before No Way Home. The story only changed after its release date was changed as well. There was clearly supposed to be a lot more to this movie, judging by all the footage that wasn't in the movie. The movie was supposed to be something a lot more to tie into No Way Home, but because so much of it had to be taken out, you're left with a different movie. 
people were expecting it to have some kind of effect on the MCU, or at least Marvel fans and critics who love these movies were expecting something that connects to everything somehow, instead they got a vampire movie. Had Morbius not simply been advertised to be associated with the MCU, people wouldn't have such high expectations. The trailers made it out to be something important, but instead you get a typical blockbuster. And I think that's why Morbius is overhated. MCU fans and critics were expecting something so hyped up that when it didn't provide any answers, they thought it was a waste of time. When you don't give people answers, people are naturally going to call the experience a waste of time. But I believe like the rest of the general audiences, there was enough to be invested into this movie to at least think it was okay. MCU fans and critics were not invested in this movie. They did not care about the characters or the story because, well, what's the point? It's not going to be part of the MCU or anything like that, so it's a huge waste of time. But if Morbius had simply been advertised as a vampire horror film, then it probably wouldn't be as hated as much. Of course, there's not to say that you can't critique Morbius or that it doesn't have any flaws, and there are flaws with this movie, but honestly, is this really the worst thing to come out this year? That it's so bad it's one of the worst comic book movies on the same level as Fantastic Four? I honestly think not. I think critics on the internet are greatly over-exaggerating the flaws of Morbius out of frustration that the movie wasn't as advertised. But honestly, at worst, Morbius is just another B-monster movie. To say that it's anything worse is as ridiculous as saying it's the greatest movie of all time. I don't think Morbius is the worst movie of 2022, and I don't think it's even as bad as a movie as most people are making it out to be. There's certainly a lot of things I found in the movie that I liked, and I'm not the only one on that. I think most people did at least think the movie was okay enough. Some people expected a B-movie and weren't disappointed. I just think the hate for the movie seems just a little too harsh and hyperbolic, and greatly exaggerated to the point where there are now memes to counteract it. So in conclusion, if you like Morbius, that's great. If you only like the memes, that's great. And if you still think Morbius is bad, then that's also great. Because at the end of the day, we all have very different opinions. But I think when it comes to having an opinion, you should have some good points to back it up in order to explain why you either like or hate something. Because respecting opinions can only get you so far before you start making things up like Morbius being the greatest movie of all time or the worst movie of all time. You need to have valid reasons to actually back up your opinions in order for people to actually take it seriously. Because if you end up being so hyperbolic and saying, oh my god, it's just that bad, it's the worst thing ever, or it's actually the greatest movie of all time, then... Uh, I'm sorry, you come off as a crazy person in my opinion. After all, normal people simply don't think too deep over Morbius. <laughs>